guys, it's Molly. Uh, I just have to adjust to see how much time I have left. Okay, all right, hello. Uh, you guys, okay. Ooh, is he spiritual knowledge? Okay, yeah, all right. So I was eating a corn dog, <laughs> and all of a sudden I thought about the Taj Mahal. And I thought, uh, can you imagine if some, like, if, if you had such an amazing tribute to someone and they wouldn't even look at it? Wow, suck. Super suck, yeah. And then it morphed into, uh, who's this is reading for? Uh, then, <laughs> my thought, which is a download, uh, morphed into, remember that show Trading Spaces? Uh-huh. It was like a home improvement show where the neighbors trade spaces with other neighbors and they fix up their room to give them a fresh new change, something different, shake up their life. And then there was that one bitch, yeah, ungrateful bitch, who hated it. Oh, and she hated, hated it in the most like embarrassing, ungrateful way. Whoa. Look at that, Libra, landed right on you, uh-huh. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, her and her husband were not happy with how it turned out. Mm -mm, because it looked nothing like what it looked like when they left it like that. Uh, but that was the whole purpose of going on the TV show was a change. Uh-huh. All right, it was a pretty bold change, uh-huh. But now, I actually uh, looked at that video before I turned this on to see what I was talking about, uh-huh. But now, and this this happened like 20 years ago. Look at that fire starter with Mother's Love. Burning down the house, okay. Uh, that. Was I didn't even look. That was like a super old episode. I don't know. 15 years ago? I don't know. When was Trading Spaces on? Uh-huh. Yup. Uh, but it was actually pretty contemporary. Uh-huh. And it wasn't didn't, it didn't require whatever that bitch was sobbing about. Yep, yep. Okay, we have a narcissist. Okay. Libra. All right, Libra, you may have learned a lesson about a narcissist, all right? You may have had illumination, understanding, judgment, realization about this, all right? You may have been healed, all right? All right? Uh, if you found you did uh, maybe a, a grand gesture, you tried to connect something, uh, and the reaction was just horrific, uh-huh, and a very, uh, selfish, okay, it took me a long time to find that word, way, okay, because you were dealing with a narcissist, uh-huh, this is an angry masculine energy, all right, we have a feminine here, she may have two kids, divine feminine energy, but she has to deal with a narcissist, some angry masculine energy, all right? Might be married to this person, right? Might be an ex, somebody you work with, something like that. Seamstress, uh-huh. All right, so, all right, family member. Whoa, okay. We have the author pop popping out, okay? This is somebody who's taking the time to give careful communication, all right? This isn't a short text. This is a heartfelt, meaningful communication. You have to really load up the paper and plan out what you're going to say. Uh-huh. Somebody wants to express feelings. Maybe talk about some hobbies. I want to get the message across. 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 Okay. Akashic, Akashic Records. They may want to talk about uh, some sort of karma or something. 
I don't know. Okay. All right, and then this big story fell out. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> Oh, somebody may tell you they've gotten a divorce. Okay, they may tell you they uh, are free from this cord connection between a mother and a father figure. Okay, they may tell you they've healed uh, parental wounds. Okay, uh, something like that. All right. And final message for Libra. Libra. We have somebody showing up waiting. But the universe wants you to know the cosmic wheel is going to turn, all right? A new course of events brought on by the divine, all right? This person's been waiting a long time. A reward is coming, a golden opportunity. Ooh, cool. Oh, we have the divine masculine showing up. He's had a rebirth, okay? He's decided, I want you, okay? Okay, he gathered a lot of, ooh, look at the harpy eagles were sent in. Courage, wisdom, strength, honor, respect, and rules were sent in to this masculine. He may have had an awakening, all right? He may have waited for a really long time for this to happen, and Spirit's telling you right now, hey, guess what? The wheel is turning, all right? Somebody got the courage, wisdom, strength, honor, respect, and rules to come to their wish fulfillment. All right. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. Let me tell you, they closed a curtain on something. All right. Or they may have tried to, uh, but Spirit wouldn't let them. Okay. Because it is their wish fulfillment. It's their twin flame. All right. Let me tell you, they realized they were a pirate. They don't want to talk about it. Let me want to come together with the Divine Feminine. All right. Let me ask about a Divine Feminine who's dealing with a pirate. Let me want to help her, protect her. He's getting out the umbrella to protect her. Okay. Somebody may be going from one relationship, closing the curtain on that, to go to their... Uh, twin flame, okay. This may happen fast. Both people looked into the cosmic mirror. We have empaths showing up that have been illuminated. Okay, all right, okay. Libra, oh my God, okay. Interesting. Libra, did you make someone the Taj Mahal? Mm-hmm. Did they squeeze their eyes shut? Or did they open them wide and say, how beautiful? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's look at the portal of the mind. All right, what does the portal of the mind have to tell Libra? Libra, Libra, message for Libra. Where is this? It's okay for me to have fun. Mm -hmm. Sure is, Libra. You may have spent a lot of time holding back, being stuck in a cage. Uh huh. Uh, somebody may have put the peacock in the cage for quite a long time, but Spirit has released you from that cage. They want you to know it's okay to have fun. All right. Okay, let's get more messages here. What's going on? Tell us about this full cup for Libra. Full cup for Libra. There it is. All right. Libra, we have Ben Franklin showing up. Okay. Ben Franklin is a very old soul. Yes, yes, yes. Ben Franklin is a very crafty person. Uh-huh. They help people come out of the cave. Uh-huh. They help people through their awakening. Mm-hmm. Because they're a light worker. All right. What is the mini tarot? 
have to say about this to Libra? And Franklin, what do you have to tell us? The tower, catastrophe, accident, things happening very quickly at a lightning pace, of course, because you know what happens at Ben Franklin Craft Store? Lightning strikes twice, ba boom ba boom double tower down. Yep, spirit's talking to you right now, Libra. Magic's happening, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, there's that person, that cancer, uh-huh. Okay, somebody wants to talk, yep. About some sort of angry masculine energy, uh-huh. Let's hear about it, Libra. Okay, we have a foxy person. Uh huh. They're just lurking around in the background. Okay. They want to take a look at what's happening over here. Mm hmm. Okay. What does the word tarot have to say to Libra? The Ten of Pentacles. Money contentment, signing of money agreement. All right. We have a foxy person, okay. Uh, they may be taking a look at a uh, toxic uh, marriage, toxic relationship, something like that, okay. They may be leaving one, all right. Uh, all right, there may be some talk about child support or something like that, okay. Or, otherwise, this person may be thinking about, uh, this masculine may be thinking about uh, taking her and that one and that one away from whatever that is and taking care of them. Uh huh. They may be thinking about marriage. Okay. Someone's showing up with freedom of the mind. All right. Somebody wants to write about it. They want to communicate. Okay. All right. That the earth squealed and shuddered to a halt. Okay. Romeo and he had Juliet in New York. Okay. I want to write about it. Okay, let's hear about it. Libra. Okay. Okay, we have Justice and Poseidon here. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to talk about possibly Twin Flame, a power couple, something happening. Okay. This could be a water sign and an air sign, uh-huh, coming together. Okay, this is you, Libra, okay, uh-huh, freedom of mind, okay, all right. Let's hear about the power couple. Oh, somebody wants to bridge that gap, okay. Power couple for Libra. The Page of Wands. Young woman to 25 years, travel over land. All right. All right. These people may be uh, hooking up in Astro. They may be traveling and hooking up in Astro. Uh huh. They may be talking about going on some sort of trip. Uh huh. All right. He wants to help her hold the torch. Okay. And he wants to talk about it. Okay. Tell me about this freedom with mother's love, father, and hook. Okay. Hook stands for allure, en enchanting, addiction, dependence, fixation, and swept off the feet. Hook is the cord. Uh-huh. Okay. Tell us about that. For Libra. Okay, we have this masculine making a judgment call. Okay, all right. He's seen signs from the universe, all right, to get this feminine away from whatever this hissing, uh, nasty energy is, okay, and free her from that cage, all right, that tower that she's in, okay. And come together because those two are enchanted, this masculine, all right? 
he's making a judgment call. He may have a lot of followers. He may be well known, maybe a musician of some sort. All right. You may communicate through music. All right. All right. He may think she's really sexy. Uh huh. She might have nice lips. Uh huh. All right. He may like what she says too. Uh huh. He's like, yep, I want that. Uh huh. All right. Let's hear about that. Okay. Let's hear about this person that's been waiting, 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 waiting for the wheel to turn so they can get their reward. Waiting, waiting, waiting. This might be the feminine. She may have been waiting forever for the wheel to turn so she can get her reward. Waiting forever for the wheel to turn so she can get her reward. Okay, let's hear about that. Okay, for Libra. Okay, this person that's waiting forever is a ladybug. Okay, they are a light worker. Uh, there's somebody who will walk around in polka dots and not give any shits about it. Yep, because they love polka dots. All right, this is the essence of a light worker. Okay. He wants the ladybug. Okay. All right. He has been awakened to this golden opportunity that's happening. All right. Okay. Tell us about this uh, cosmic wheel for Libra. Aha. Total and positive self-love. Somebody, uh, they, uh, we have been waiting for somebody, okay, this masculine, to get some self-love, some confidence, all right. Uh, this ladybug may have helped this person get it, all right. Now they have it. Mm-hmm. They had the awakening, the rebirth, all right. They have found self-love, that ace of cups. It's the ultimate reward. <laughs> I love it, Okay. Tell us about this rebirth for Libra. Oh, amazing. Someone is balanced within the yin and yang. And then I just looked down in this slid, Twin Flame, the card for Twin Flame. So we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, someone's balanced within, from within the yin and yang. All right. We have the two people showing up here, all right? This could be a twin flame union. Mm -hmm. We have one person who just lived kind of a Frankenstein life. They just did the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. And then we have the other person. Uh-huh. Who has a baby seal? They were an innocent person, but uh, this is like, this could be a super empath, all right? But this one was always hunted by narcissists, uh-huh. Yes, 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 the killer whales always try to uh, eat it, uh-huh, and club it, uh-huh, and it's just trying to live, yes. So both of those people, that was their part of their journey, all right, was to find self-confidence, to become the Jolly Green Giant, all right? The Jolly Green Giant loves who they are. Look at the Jolly Green Giant. They'll walk around green and not care one bit about it because their heart chakra is so open. Yes. Look at, look how pale and yucky. Look at how lush and green, all right? Healing has happened for these people. All right. Uh, spirit is having uh, somebody make a judgment call because it is a twin flame uh, thing here. We have Paul Bunyan and Babe. Uh-huh, Paul and Babe. Yep, they are the power couple. This is my card for twin flames in this deck. Uh-huh. All right, they understand that they can do amazing things if they work together. All right, we have two spirit guides showing up. Uh, 
popping right now. All right. Could be a dog involved too. All right. We have the kitty cat who likes to share that's showing up here. We have an energy vampire, a person who may have ghosted. Uh, here one minute, gun the next. All right. A fragmented energy. Uh huh. All right. They're seeing signs from the universe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This person had fragmented energy. They may have been ghosting. They may have been uh, just not. Uh, they may be up all night thinking about all this. Uh huh. They may feel some shame, some guilt, some regret for past behavior, some past energy vampire behavior, because now this person, I mean, look at. They're the sweet kitty cat who likes to share. Oh my god, what did I do? Okay, spirit worked with this person. Mm-hmm. They saw all sorts of signs from the universe. They may be tapping into their bank account somehow. All right. Because the feminine is the gentle rose, the gentle conclusion, the rose who won't hurt them. All right. They've been hurt several times in the past. All right. And they realize now she is the rose without the thorn, and she opened their heart chakra. Uh-huh. They may have watched her do something. All right. But he did go from this to this, all right. He went from uh, hissy to cutie, uh-huh, yep, okay. He does feel slinky, though, still, about, about this hissy behavior, okay. He may have been uh, using vices, been under some sort of influence, all right, wasn't in the right mind, okay. And they understand that now. They understand how these vices or whatever this was that took their energy away, what it did to them. Uh huh. And, and they would go from sad to happy and happy to sad. And, mm -hmm. They may have treated an in innocent person wrong. Could be Lady Godiva because we have the Rose Without the Thorn and Lady Godiva. Uh huh. And Peeping Tom. Okay. This could be Peeping Tom and Lady, Lady Godiva coming together. Yep. There he is, uh-huh, all right. Uh, they may be thinking, how am I gonna ask her to marry me? Uh, because he is the Jolly Green Giant, look at, he's all green, uh-huh, and he's a giant, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. And he wants her as his divine feminine, as his wife. Sweet, wow, what a cool reading. All right, Libra, there's your reading. If you like how I read, please hit a thumbs up. Uh, it helps me with this video. It helps my channel, and it helps me with my divine purpose. And she, look at she's giving you a wave. She's like, give Molly a thumbs up, please. Look at what she's doing. <laughs> High five, thank you. <laughs> Uh, if you want to join the Star Gang, it's totally free. You can hit subscribe. And if you want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right there in the description. Now, this is only the first part of your reading, you guys. My readings are interactive. So, uh, the second part, I'll post a bunch of links that pertain to this reading. And you can choose which links you want to watch. Just make sure you uh, hit subscribe before you click any links so you can find your way back. All right. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's a high five. <laughs>